everybody this is all things Tasha this is my last video for tonight I did have to change because I got makeup on some of my clothes and kind of yeah not fun at all but anyway um, I wanted to show you my latest Sephora haul yay I've already taken things out of the back um, I ordered online so anytime I order stuff online I throw everything into the bag until like I can be able to put it on camera so pretty much that's it I was kind of on a soap and glory kind of kick so let me show you a couple of things so the first thing that I picked up are these face wipes these are makeup cleansing cloths soap and glory and I think they were six bucks and they were on sale the next thing that I got was their righteous uh, body moisture it's righteous butter so that's what it looks like and the texture and hopefully I don't spill it on the camera looks like this and it was about five bucks and it's kind of pretty perfumey um yeah I guess my allergy medicine is kicking in and it's pretty creamy but not overly thick um, I would say it's more of a silky lotion than it is a body butter I guess I'm comparing it to like the uh, tree hut uh, body butter I'm used to that which is a very thick shade but it smells nice and hopefully it won't make my eczema flare let, let us pray but then let me show you the thing that actually prompted my Sephora uh, thing this is the Bobby to go uh, beauty insider these are my 500 point perks I've already broken it open so I could be able to show you um, but it came wrapped in black tissue paper which I've thrown over there and it came with the mascara like so and I'm not gonna crack this open because I have like a jillion like mascaras open it also came with a hydrating eye cream and I've never tried Bobbi Brown before and I was like okay this is a good opportunity to try it um let's see here and then this was what really got me it's this little miniature uh, eyeshadow thingy and let's see if I can actually open it because yeah I need a little help opening this and boxes with bunny um this would be a perfect opportunity you could send Michael over here help Tasha open up this thing and by the way ladies and gentlemen if you haven't tried uh, boxes with bunnies channel she is a fabulous youtuber on here she's one of my YouTube friends she has a great channel and we're kind of on the same page of growing our channels out so if you could do me a great big favor check our channel out could y'all do that that would be awesome and now I have finally opened up this palette yay and it looks like this and Lo and behold, <laughs> the little brush fell out. But anyway, let me show you. And the actual blush is really pretty. Um, it looks more hot pink on my side of things. So I don't know if you're able to see it. Like, there we go. And so it's really pretty. So I'm going to just do a quick swatchy swatch. Oh, wow. It's pretty pigmented. But it's looking baby doll pinkish on me, y'all. Um, so that means it's not going to end up too chalky and too much. But definitely not one of the like uh, blushes that are going to be too much. I'm just glad that the blush actually looks good. And then it also has eyeshadows, which um, it's very dark and pigmented. There's a dark brown. So I'll put that there. There's a shimmery kind of gray brown, which I think is going to be so pretty. Oh, that one shows up really well. Let's see. Yeah, because the dark brown is underneath it and you can barely see it. And then let's find me a clean hand, shall we? Uh, <laughs> oh, yay. And this was so much a better video before the pizza man came and like totally like interrupted me. But that's okay. Um, Alright, so the last one that I need is kind of like the highlight color. And let me make sure my hands are really clean because I really don't want to end up having drama. So this is kind of a dark kind of gray. 
and that's really pretty but you can barely see this one on me I'm gonna try to swatch harder yeah it's not showing up and then there's a cream highlight one that I think would be really pretty but it's going on a little sheer and a little chalky um let's see and you can't even see the other one and yes I injured my hand technically again <laughs> um, but I thought for 500 points that this was a pretty good perk um, so I thought it was a pretty cool way to try out Bobby Brown and so I'm really excited to try it and then let's get back to the rest of the haul shall we because I'm just a discombobulated mess all right so um, I got some samples and things like that um, I think this is meant for women, but I don't know. Um, that's pretty cool. And then they sent me the Makeup Forever Pro Finish Deep Complexion Multi-Use Powder Foundation. I'm thinking that I'm probably 177 on this uh, one right here. Yes, because that's the color I am in Makeup Forever, but we'll see. Um, excited to try that. Got that as a sample. And then I cashed in some more points. Um, I also got an hourglass uh, sample, which you probably saw in the other video, but I took the lip stuff off. It was dreadful. It was drying out my lips, something horrible, and I had already touched it up twice in between filming. So, yeah, that was not good. But I was able to pick up the La Vanilla. Um, this is the Vanilla Grapefruit, and it smells heavily. Oh, my gosh. I wore it to work. Um, because I couldn't wait to try it out and this smells the bomb.com y'all it smells good so I think I'm gonna get a larger size of it but I probably won't buy it from Sephora I'm probably gonna pick it up from little black bag because I know they constantly have la vanilla so I'm gonna go with that and then last but not least of the soap and glory I forgot to show you uh, the face soap I picked this up for about three bucks and it's about a uh, fluid ounce there we go. This is the Soap and Glory Clarifying uh, Face Soap. So that was pretty cool. So now y'all really want to see the good stuff, right? The good, good stuff. So let me show you. They were having a super duper sale on Sephora. So I was able to pick up two palettes Urban Decay for under 30 bucks. I was like OMG.com. And I haven't opened these yet. So the first one is the Feminine Palette. And I'm just going to break it open. Oh my gosh. Um, I need some assistance over here when I film. I surely do. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I think I should have pre-opened this. But anyway, this is such a cute flipping palette. Look at that. So, let me pop it open and pray nothing jumps out at me. Ah, okay. So, let me show you. And this is really pretty. It looks like this. And it has a little mirror and all that. But you don't want to be looking at my computer. Um, so, um, let's see here. It comes with a little lip junky kind of uh, lip gloss. I'm assuming it looks like a really neutral kind of color and then it comes with six shadows which look like so and the reason I picked it was for a couple of different colors the first one that stood out to me was bordello and I'm trying not to get too much glare bordello um, and then you see the hijack one, which is this hunter green. That's very pretty. And then the last one over here, which is lost. I thought those were so pretty. And then, uh, let's see. Gunmetal is not bad either. These are both greens. I don't know if you could tell because there's a lot of glare on this camera. Oh, that's much better. These are so pretty. So, um, I'll do a quick swatch, but I don't want this video to go forever. ACDC is just really pretty. Oh my gosh, look at that. It is gorgeous. And they swatch so much better. Now, I just did Bobby Brown, and the Urban Decay out swatches hers hands down. So, I don't know. Like, I got a chance to try it, but I'm not sure if I'm going to be like, oh, let me go get this. Oh, my gosh. These are so doggone pretty. 
Oh my gosh. Look at that. That is hijack. Look at that green. OMG. I could see that for Christmas. Couldn't you see that for Christmas? Like that one I'm not even scared of at all. That is gorgeous metallic green. And then look at the other ones, how they are like swatching. So, so pretty. And I'm running out of fingertips over here. Um, I just think it's an awesome, awesome palette. Like out of all the colors, ACDC, which is this really pretty kind of uh, purpley. And then uh, gunmetal is really nice and then hijack is the bomb.com y'all it is gorgeous so bordello is a pretty copper but hands down the green in this is what draw my attention and i'm so glad that i bought it and i think i dropped my lip junkie but i'll get that after this film is over so the next one and this one was ten dollars and the this one was 16 bucks and i think this was a really good deal and i wish i had grabbed more uh, because that would have made a really good subscriber gift um as well um because i'm thinking about doing something really cool for christmas i haven't made up my mind but yeah i'm thinking it'll be really kind of cool to do something like the 12 days of christmas only tasha style or something but anyway this is the deluxe shadow box and so i'm just gonna throw that over here and this one you've probably seen on ulta uh recently as well uh because they started selling this one on there and this is 10 bucks and it's a really good uh deal and i'm hoping that the shadow swatch is nice and so let me show you what you get yeah i'm trying to clean up my hands because <laughs> too much shadow but one of the cool things that you get in here is a eyeshadow primer and you know urban decay stuff lasts forever but you know what i wish they would do make these clear because my last one got so gunky and crazy gross and it was impossible to tell how much i had left and finally i just threw it out because i was like oh my god but anyway let me show you and this looks a lot like the ammo palette, but this is not. Uh, this The ammo palette looks a little bit different. But this is a really pretty palette. And so I'm just going to show you the actual shadows themselves. And I think these are really pretty. Like what drew me to this palette was three colors. Fishnet, Ransom, and Graffiti. I think these are beautiful. Now, the bottom ones that are all the golds and things like that, they are gorgeous. But I was trying to find some things that are a little bit different. And honey is also a really pretty color. But I was trying to find some shadows that I didn't already have. And I wanted to find some things that would give me some diversity. Um, I've, I've thought about getting the Vice palette, but I don't think I'm going to. Oh, man, this is beautiful. Look at that blue. That is gorgeous blue, metallic blue. Um, let's see. Let's do fishnet. Oh man, the purple in here is just beautiful. I don't know if you can see that very well or what, but it is nice. There we go. And then, uh, last but not least. Let's go with graffiti because I'm not going to swatch them all, but I just wanted to show you the ones that I thought were beautiful. Oh my gosh. I think I'm loving green for some reason. That green is calling my name. I've never worn green shadow before, but for some reason I'm totally feeling it. So maybe I'm like changing up a little bit because normally I'm more traditional with my shadow choices, but those colors were calling me. So anyway, that is pretty much my haul. I'm looking around. I got stuff hung everywhere, but Nevertheless, this is the longest video on earth, and I hope you enjoyed the haul and the swatches. So, that's all things Tasha. If you like my incredibly long video, hit like. And if you love, hit subscribe. Alright, and don't forget, please subscribe and check out Boxes with Bunny. I'll put her like link in the down bar. She's such a fabulous, nice person. And she's one of my really good friends here on YouTube. So I hope you check out her videos. She loves subscription boxes. She buys so many great like incredible things. She gets great deals on things. So check out her channel, okay? Yeah.
Come on, y'all. Check her out. Yay. Bye.